Hey everybody, how you doing today? Well, we're approaching the end of October here in central Iowa. I think it's the 24th today and had some rain and some cold temperatures and we had the leaf dump the other day. The truck was just absolutely covered with it. Leaves are turning, looking pretty. Well, I got some news. Uh, of course, the lawn mowing business is uh, winding down. I've got one or two customers that I have to do one more time next week if the temperatures allow. Just kind of do the final cut there. About everybody else is done. I consider the year a success. I didn't make near the money and had the customer base that I wanted, but it takes a couple years to get that customer base up. So I'm going to do it again one more time at least next year, and we'll see how that rolls. I've been making a uh, look back video, I'll post that here shortly on the lawn mowing business, but have some other news to report. A few weeks ago I saw a job opportunity on the internet there, UPS Personal Vehicle Delivery Driver. And basically what this is, is to help during the holiday crunch here at the end of the year, uh, guys out driving around in their personal vehicles delivering your Christmas packages. So I applied online, went over to the local uh, hub in Ames. Uh, not much of an interview process, it was just me and one other guy that had applied at that point in time. And they indicated they were looking for a lot of uh, personal vehicle drivers. The interview process was basically, hi, how you doing? I need copies of your driver's license, your social security, your car registration, your in proof of insurance, fill out these forms. All right, cool. And then uh, they did a background check and a driving check, and then uh, we're just waiting for November 1 to show up, and that's when we're going to go through orientation, I guess. So, And it will run through January 15th. So, this is something that UPS has been doing for the last year or so, at least last year, I know, maybe the year before 2017, but it's just to help the guys in the big brown truck uh, not have to be out there for so darn long but I'll be driving around in the old expedition here that I've nicknamed Speedwagon. I've got all the seats laid down, lots of room. The uh, human resources gal that I talked to indicated that because I live in a smaller town just outside of Ames, they've done this in the past apparently, they may stage a trailer in my town of Nevada and then that will be my little mini hub. I'll go there, get the packages and take them out for delivery. I'm sure that won't happen right away. I'll probably be in the Ames area, might be out in the country, who knows, but expedition here with the winter driving, you know, I got four wheel drive, I've had this for a little over a year now, I'm real comfortable with it, it does, it does fantastic in adverse conditions. So anyway, I'm looking forward to that, pretty good pay, starts at $21 an hour, I get 53 cents a mile mileage. Like I said, that'll roll through January 15th, and then at that point in time, I will explore whether or not I want to get into some residential snow removal and see how that works out then. Just a couple more months, be April, late April, and it's snow uh, lawn mowing time again. I'm getting my lawn mowing and snow removal mixed up here. But anyway, you get the point there. So if this all works out, and I think it will, uh, you know, I'm a driver, I kind of like driving around and I can make some videos for you guys and show you my experiences here with uh, UPS drivers and then roll right back into the lawn mowing and if this works out then I'll do it again next fall so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this will work like I said I don't mind driving the conditions don't bother me one bit at all I'm driving around in this big old expedition and so I look forward to uh, this new job opportunity and I'll take you guys along and we'll see my experiences together Alrighty, well, talk to you guys later. We'll see you next time.